According to legend, Leonardo's father asked his teenage son to paint a wooden shield. The boy decided to paint a face on the shield, but not a human face. Instead, he collected an assortment of dead animals, including maggots, bats, and lizards, to create the head of a monster belching smoke. When Leonardo's father saw the painting, he was so stunned by its realism that he knew his son would be a painter. He was right, but Leonardo would be so much more. Leonardo was an artist, a scientist, and an inventor during the Italian Renaissance. He is considered by many to be one of the most talented and intellectual people of all time. The term Renaissance man, someone who does many things very well, was coined from Leonardo's many talents and is today used to describe people who resemble da Vinci. Leonardo was born in the town of Vinci, Italy on April 15, 1452. Not much is known about his childhood other than his father was wealthy and had a number of wives. When he was 14, Leonardo became an apprentice to a famous artist named Andrea del Verrocchio. He impressed del Verrocchio with his talent, and it is even said that Leonardo created and developed his own paints. As an apprentice, Leonardo learned a lot about drawing, painting, and other art forms, and also about metalworking, plaster casting, leatherworking, and much more. Leonardo da Vinci is regarded as one of the greatest artists in history. Leonardo excelled in many areas, including drawing, painting, and sculpture. Although we don't have a lot of his paintings today, he is probably most famous for his paintings and also gained great fame during his own time due to his paintings. Two of his most famous paintings, and perhaps two of the most famous in the world, include The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. Leonardo's drawings are also quite extraordinary. He would keep journals full of drawings and sketches, often of different subjects that he was studying. Some of his drawings were previews to later paintings. Some were studies of anatomy. Some were closer to scientific sketches. One famous drawing is the Vitruvian Man. It is a picture of a man who has perfect proportions based on the notes from the Roman architect Vitruvius. Other famous drawings include the design of a flying machine and a self-portrait. Many of da Vinci's drawings and journals were made in his pursuit of scientific knowledge and inventions. His journals were filled with over 13,000 pages of his observations of the world. He drew pictures and designs of hang gliders, helicopters, war machines, musical instruments, various pumps, and more. He was interested in civil engineering projects and designed a single span bridge a way to divert the Arno River and movable barricades which would help protect a city in the case of attack. Leonardo wrote with a special kind of shorthand that he invented himself. He also mirrored his writing, starting at the right side of the page and moving to the left. Only when he was writing something intended for other people did he write in the normal direction. The purpose of his mirror writing is unknown, but one idea is that it may have kept his hands clean. People who were contemporaries of Leonardo left records that they saw him write and paint left-handed. He also made sketches showing his own left-handed work. As a lefty, this mere writing style would have prevented him from smudging his ink as he wrote. There are other possibilities for the reason Leonardo used mere writing. Some possibilities have been suggested. One, he was trying to make it harder for people to read his notes and steal his ideas. Or he was hiding his scientific ideas from the powerful Roman Catholic Church, whose teachings sometimes disagreed with what Leonardo observed. And finally, he was just trying to prevent smudging. Writing left-handed from left to right was messy. The ink just put down would smear his hand as it moved across. Many of his drawings were on the subject of anatomy. He studied the human body, including many drawings on muscles, tendons, and the human skeleton to help him portray people more realistically. He had detailed figures of various parts of the body, including the heart, arms, and other internal organs. He dissected or cut up the bodies of dead people and used what he learned to make accurate anatomical skeletons of the human body. 
Leonardo didn't just study the human anatomy either. He also had a strong interest in horses, as well as cows, frogs, monkeys, and other animals. Many people had considered Leonardo da Vinci to be solely an artist and were amazed at the breadth of his knowledge. In fact, with all his talents, Leonardo embodied the well-rounded ideal of Renaissance and humanistic thinking. He was one of the most multi-talented individuals who ever lived, a painter, architect, inventor, engineer, and a scientist. All of these qualities and many more made him the ultimate Renaissance man.